The 20th edition of the Classical Music Festival, Music in Pyeongchang, ended with a grand finale on Saturday. The event, held in Pyeongchang, Gangwon Province, received accolades not only for its composition of world-renowned musicians, but also for welcoming an orchestra from Ukraine to highlight the ongoing war in their country. The artistic director for this year's festival was Yang Songwon, who is a celebrated cellist himself. He's performed worldwide and also received the Chevalier des Arts et des Lettres, an order of merit from the French government. And he's also the artistic director of the Festival Beethoven à Bonn in France. We're pleased to say that he joins us now via video call from Spain for this week's Touch Basins Hall. Mr. Yang, hello, and thank you for joining our show today. Thank you very much. This is Chelis Yang Song Wan. You're now listening to Korea 24 on KBS World Radio. Great to be with you. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. Uh, it's only been three days since that festival we talked about, music in Pyeongchang, since it ended. Yes. How does it feel to have it all finished successfully now? Oh, it feels actually great because we've had so much support from the audience, from the uh, volunteer workers, from our staff, from the government. Everybody involved were very enthusiastic and greatly eagerly looking forward to the next edition, which is will be again July and early August 24. The programming is nearly all complete, so we'll announce that sometime in the fall. Yes, we wanted to learn more about uh, your experience as the artistic director uh, of this festival. Uh, you were appointed uh, earlier this year and you're following some celebrated uh, Korean musicians as well. Professor uh, Kang Hyo of the Juilliard School was the first director uh, after it was launched in 2004. Uh, World-renowned cellist and violinist sisters uh, Jung myung and Jung kyung were next. And then pianist uh, Son yeol was uh, the third to take the helm. How did it feel when you were first named as the fourth artistic director of the festival earlier well, this year? it was a great very very big honor and also a huge responsibility also because uh, the festival started with professor kang hyo and uh, through the artistic direction directorship of the uh chong sisters and sonia room the festival grew into a uh, 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 one of the two major festivals in korea and a while my worry was to carry a sea. I also had to find ways to uh, find much clearer identity. Uh, I say that because the festival started as the Great Mountain Festival, and then it changed the name to uh, Pyeongchang Music Festival, and then it changed again to Music in Pyeongchang. So when I contacted the artists and especially the foreign artists, they were a bit confused. They were saying, oh, you know, I've been to Great Mountain Festival many years ago. And I said, oops, well, you'll be coming back. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, it's the same <laughs> so my first duty, of course, is to carry on the legacy and to find artistic excellency and sustainability in uh, its artistic level, but also uh, fortify the identity of the festival and mm. uh, take a roots right so i had to come up with many new ideas to, to try to have our festivals branding the name of it more widely known so one of the initiation that i i took over was to create live from pyeongchang label we're creating now a, a label non-commercial label of sounded recording from the festival, we're making a, 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 a couple CDs recordings to be uh, distributed to the Gangwon Cultural Foundation and to to be gifted to our sponsors, to be gifted to our volunteers, and it'll be from the soundtracks of the concerts of the festival that we've just had. And the best moments of the festival will be in the CD package as long as well as. Uh, some teasers of videos captured by university students, Yonsei University students, through the eyes of 
early 20s or barely university students the way they appreciate the festival. So I think this is going to be very important to have continuous uh, uh, promotional uh, activities for the festival, which is now formally called Music in Pyeongchang Festival. Not only this, but I had to come up with many different ideas, such as sending many artists to different parts of Gangwon province, because I thought uh, too many concerts were concentrated in Pyeongchang area only, but uh, I also wanted to have much more wider audience and uh, to reach out to them. So we sent uh, many artists playing fantastic concerts of different programs to different parts of Gangwon province, and that was really fulfilling. Yeah. Right. So as the artistic director, it seemed that this year you were perhaps more focused on the the business and branding side of the uh, festival itself, uh, perhaps more than mm-hmm. the uh, musical side of the event. Oh, no, no. Actually, the musical side of it was actually very wide, uh, very varied, and the choices very wide. And then we've had Artists from nine countries. Uh, we've had nearly 200 musicians play in the, at the festival. And we had 34 concerts, six special lectures, and uh, many events for the families and all that. So it, it was, in 10 days, really substantial contents. You know? So musically, it was more than full, actually. <laughs> sure, of course, of course. Uh, but it seems like uh, what you brought uh, this year was perhaps a, a, a further cementing the identity of uh, the Absolutely. of the event. That was uh, what you wanted, I guess, uh, from uh, this yeah. year's event. Uh, yes. There was also the theme this year. It was returning to the very uh, first festival's theme of uh, nature's inspiration. This year's theme was once again uh, nature. Can you tell us more about that yeah. as well? Yes. Uh, Of course, you know, a festival of this size, a festival of this importance should carry a message. And as we all are witnessing these days with alarming realities all around the world, we're suffering from climate change and the damages, materials and lives are consequential, you know, so... I wanted to make sure every single concert, there was one piece directly linked to nature so that not only we're listening to beautiful music, not only we're listening to beautiful works by composers from centuries ago, but we're also aware of how we should live better with nature, how we should preserve better the nature. And uh, the message was, Let's make an effort to protect our environment and to find a way to sustainability. One of the major things that I did unexplicitly, because I wanted the festival to be really focused on the highest artistic level, mm. but was none of the plastic cups at the festival. Right. But that was not explicitly written. All the program notes, all the papers were from completely recycled papers. The huge, thick program note was completely made by sewing and no artificial, no chemical glues, etc. So we really wanted to make sure that the festival carries on the current message, which is positive and uh, 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 um, impacting our society with this. So... Um, we had fantastic pieces from the first concert to the last concert, sure, all related to music and in nature benefiting our society. So that was my message. Sure, a very fitting message indeed as well, especially as we're suffering through these heat waves here in South Korea and of course Spain, where you are. Uh, there's been yeah. brutal heat waves and uh, fires. Oh, yes. And especially this uh, message, I think, is uh, fitting for Pyeongchang as well and Gangwon province, which has such uh, beautiful sites uh, throughout the province as well. Yes. Uh, another message, yes, yes. another uh, highlight, I would say, of the event was the uh, orchestra from Ukraine that performed at the festival, the yes. Kiev Virtuosi Chamber Orchestra. Can you tell us more about that? Right. How did uh, their participation in the event come about? 
Well, uh, you know, as soon as I was named artistic director at the end of February, I had to program artists and pieces in a hurry. Usually, as I said, my programming for 24 is nearly complete already now, now but how mm. we should do. And I'm already have confirmed some artists in 25. So at the end of February to be programming for four months later is something nearly impossible. All my friends and colleagues told me this is going to be quasi impossible. So good luck with you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so in the meantime, again, I said a festival of this size should carry a strong message to our societies and our world. And I wanted to convey a message of peace. And when I was contacted by uh, my manager, I put all strings saying that I need as much information as possible for all available artists all around the world. This key of virtuosi really uh, caught my attention because they had fled Ukraine, Ukraine last year. So it's been nearly two years year and a half since they fled the country and they were now um, vagabonding around Italy thanks to a few sponsors which were supporting them to uh, move around Italy and then to be um, temporarily residential there. So I contacted them and I said, please join us. We'll offer you five concerts and they were extremely happy to come. And for us to have them join the festival, play beautiful music. And uh, when we talk about the situation in their country, you know, their eyes are getting all wet. They're nearly, mm. nearly their tears coming down, you know. But as soon as they pick up their instrument and they start playing the, the, the pieces, they become completely like all other artists focus completely uh, uh, integrated musicians and then conveying the best part of the works that they were playing. So it was extremely moving. It was extremely touching and also rewarding to welcome them. And uh, I wish all the best for not only Ukrainians, but for us humanities. Yes, I'm sure it was a moving and very uh, meaningful for the audience as well. I'm sure they very much would have appreciated you bringing them uh, yeah. to Korea as well. So you said next year is already planned out. Uh, can you give us a bit of a preview? Uh, can you tell us uh, what you have in store, what, what you want for next year? Uh, next year will be about... Okay, only for you. So only for this <laughs> world radio. Thank you. We're getting okay. uh, we're getting exclusive. Don't say anything. This is exclusivity for us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, the theme will be Ludwig, mm. and uh, Ludwig van Beethoven is, right. is the pillar. But. I will. I am programming all the pieces of composers who would have called Beethoven by his first name. Ah, so interesting. Those, okay. Not only close to him because they were contemporaries of Beethoven, but those that Beethoven really admired and got inspiration from. And those composers who really admired Beethoven and got inspiration from Beethoven. So spiritually, all those who really had the same link, same intensity, same creativity, same drive for creativity. So it goes from Johann Sebastian Bach or uh, George Handel, whom Beethoven did not know personally, but if they would have lived in the same time, they would have called with each other by their first names. And some 20th century composers whom really uh, aspired to be in the Beethoven spirit. So it goes as far as Messiaen and Goubay Doulina, etc. Mm. So all those who I think, not, not only I think, all those composers who have left testimonials sure. saying, how much they admire Beethoven and how much it was so important to them, then I 
I'm putting in the program. But the important part of this festival, this kind of festival, is also to have many unknown works and unknown composers mm. to be rewarded. So there will be many Korean premieres and even world premieres of composers and works which exist since two centuries, two centuries and a half. Right. Never got. Yeah. So there were some surprises. That sounds fantastic. And it sounds going to be a very educational as well. It's clear that you're excited about this, uh, this event and next year, even with uh, all your years as a, an, as a stellar career, uh, as a cellist and a musician, it still seems you are very excited and motivated for, for this uh, next festival oh, yes. as well. Yes. Well, congratulations first uh, on your first successful music in Pyeongchang. And we look forward to uh, the next one now. Uh, we've been talking to uh, Yang Chan Wan, the cellist and artistic director of uh, music in Pyeongchang. Thank you once again for your time today. Thank you very much.